um, Stockholm Syndrome. You heard about that, right? That's the mindset our people have, right? right. So what happened, what was that in, uh, uh, in, in... Stockholm Syndrome is named after a bank robbery that happened in 1973 in Stockholm, Sweden. The, there were bank employees that were kept for six days. They were first wrapped in dynamite and thrown into the bank vault. And the thing that happened that shocked everybody is that throughout those six days, those captive people wrapped in dynamite for some reason became eerily attached to their captors. They felt bad for them. They even turned away police and assistants to get them out of there. They were not helpful at all. And even once released, some of them still kept in touch with their captors and wouldn't testify against them in court. And so everybody thought, what the hell is going on? Why won't they tell us anything? Why are they acting like they were caring and nice and they care about what happens to them? What gives? Right, they be, they, grow, they grew an affinity, an affinity, a love for their kidnappers. Someone who was kidnapped grew love for their kidnappers. kidnappers. So now that's the conditions our people are in. Our people have been tortured, killed, mistreated, all types of afflictions and atro atrocities still to this day here in America. Right. And our mindset is to love them. We've grown an affinity to our enemies right. and we forgot that they are our enemies. So that's why the Lord said, there's no salvation without the destruction of your enemies. Right. When, when the Lord yeah. sent Moses to deliver the children of Israel, out of the hands of Pharaoh and the Egyptians, what happened to the Egyptians? God killed them. Right. Because they're because why? They're not going to be willing to let you go. That's the whole point. They got to go. You understand? But it's righteous with the Lord. It's righteous. Watch this. Give me that in Second Thessalonians two and uh, one and six. Bring it out. Second Thessalonians two and six. That's why the scriptures say we got to be able to accept. Both the salvation of the righteous, the salvation of the Jews, and the de destruction of the enemies. Right. There's not one without the other. Right. Read. Right. It's the book of Second Thessalonians, chapter, chapter, one. chapter 1 and verse 6. Bring it out. See, it is a righteous thing with God to recompense. To recompense. Recompense. What does that mean? To pay back. Right. That's what recompense means. Payback. Read again. See, it is a righteous thing with God. It's a righteous thing with God, read. To recompense. To pay back tribulation. Tribulation, read. To them that troubled you. To them that troubled you. They're not reading this in the Christian church. Because they want you to have that affinity of your enemies. Right. Because they're not teaching you the truth. They know, your enemies know, as long as you are in sin, they have the power to continue to rule over you. The moment you decide you're going to begin to serve your God, guess what he's going to do? He's going to break the bands off of you. You understand? And that's what the Lord is talking about in this Bible. That's what he's talking about. Give me that in Revelation. It's the book of Revelation, chapter 13 and verse 9. If any man have an ear. Most people have ears, right? Right? Read. Let him hear. Read. He that leadeth into captivity. Who led us into captivity? Yeah. Who did it? Huh? White people. White people. Guess what? All nations. All nations throughout history have had us in slavery. Uh, beginning with the Egyptians, who are a dark-skinned people. Look like us. Not feature-wise, but they do look like us. They're dark, they're black like us. So-called. God doesn't, if God is not for them, so it's not about color, it's about a bloodline. Right. It's about a bloodline that God chose, which goes back to what you said. Right. Why are we better, what makes us better than them? All nations, but the number one enemy is Esau, right. the so-called white man. Read. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. That's righteous judgment of right. God. Yes, he right. that leadeth into captivity. And the he is not talking about one person. The he is talking about man. Right. What man? The white man. Yes, what right. man? The Chinese man. Yes, what right. man? The uh, East Indian man. Right. What man? The Arabian man. Right. It's talking about 
uh, 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 it's not talking about one man. It's talking about races of people. Right. Read. He that killeth with the sword, they kill us with the sword. And the sword ain't just talking about the old ancient sword, the metal sword. It's also talking about the gun. It's talking about, also talking about bombs. It's also also talking about the, uh, 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 pestilences, fires, uh, the things they put, the poisons that they put in the water and in the food that aim at your people. a sword. Why? Because it will harm you. It will kill you. Right. Come on. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Now that's righteous judgment of God. That's what thus saith the Lord. Make sense? So what so what does what what advantage or or how are we why are we better than them? Give me Romans 3 and 3. Uh, and, oh it's more on that? Finish that out. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Read verse 10 again. Verse 10. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. That's not a should be. He said must. It must happen. Right. Read. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. This is what we're supposed to be waiting for. Right. This is what we're supposed to be hoping for. Right. That's what he said. Here is the patience of the saints and, and the faith of the saints. You're supposed to believe that this is going to happen. Right. You understand? Now go to um, Romans. So now, what makes us better? Let's see what the word of God says. Romans 3 and 3. What makes us better? Romans chapter 3 and 3. Start at 1. It's the book of Romans chapter 3 and verse 1. What up. advantage then have the Jew? What advantage does have the Jew? Read. Or what profit is there of circumcision? Read. Much. What profit is there in keeping God's laws? Read. Much every way. Much every way. Read. Chiefly because that unto them were committed the oracles of God. So what makes us better? Because the Lord gave us his laws, statutes, and commandments. Yes, he right. gave us the oracles of God. Right. He gave us the prophecies. The prophecies pertain to your people. Right. The prophecies pertain to you. You understand? The promises of God pertain to you. That's why. Read it again. What advantage then have the Jew? Uh -huh. Or what profit is there of circumcision? Read. Much every way. Uh -huh. Chiefly because that unto them were committed the oracles of God. Read. For what if some do not believe? So what if some people don't believe? Read. Should their unbelief make the faith of God without effect? Should because you don't believe that this is true mean it's not going to happen? Mean that it changes God's mind? Read. God forbid. Meaning no. Yea, let God be true, but every man a liar. And you know how you make God be true? When you read from the Bible. When you explain it from to the people and give them the sense of what exactly the Bible is saying. You understand? That's how you let God be true and every man a liar. Because every man can come up with his own philosophy, right. his own interpretation. But we're reading exactly what the Bible tells you, is saying to you. You understand? But we got to give you the understanding because our people have not learned the proper interpretation of the scriptures. Right. Make sense? We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, 
from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.